Hello everyone, Jay here from Challenger Approaching, and welcome to part 5 of my Pokemon Platinum Sprite Editing Tutorial. Where I'm going to try to mix a bunch of small things into one video. I've already shown how to change these kinds of files when working with the, uh, the trainer sprites in the previous video. So, really this is just going to be a quick tour, I guess, of the ROM. So you can see where certain things are that I'm sure a lot of you want to edit. And up to this point, a lot of my videos, while the locations of things are different, the, the techniques I'm going to use are the same, so they're hopefully are useful for more than just Platinum. This one is mostly for Platinum, so I'm just going to really show you where locations are uh, for these kinds of things. So I guess without further ado, we will again open Tink, our best friend at this point. Get the ROM open, and let's start with the opening. Okay, and the opening is hidden inside the demo folder, and then title, and it's not intro. It's not that one yet. It is OP demo, which we will highlight, unpack, and we can look through here. Okay, and this should be full of... Lots of sprites on uh, legal information. Uh, oh, <laughs> the Japanese logo is hidden in here. That's not used in the English ROM. These here. Which is strange. I think that's actually only the part, at least for Platinum, where the ROM starts up and the music starts going and then like some like the white ball snow effects wipes across the side. Because this is not the logo that appears on the start screen. I'll show that one later. But that one's actually not in this NARC. So, um, I personally did not do a lot with this. Because the sprites I wanted to edit, which, like the male character running, uh, he throws a Pokeball and stuff like that, they're all kind of interdependent. Or at least uh, the, main, the main ones are. So, let me just remind myself where they are. I may jump to when I find them because I have... I, this is this is the kind of one I can't really keep straight in my head. Okay, here we go. Well, that is the female one. So the male one is this one. Right now, the male is usually before. He's hidden on me in the past. Oh, there he is. Okay. So using the same palette file, looks like. As the female and the male, he's right here, and that's him running through town. And unlike most of these, he's actually together, which is impressive, honestly. <laughs> I'm so used to putting these guys back together like Humpty Dumpty at this point. And so this one, I did say that these files were in like uh, like interdependent, where the palette is shared among multiple. So it often ends up not looking very good when you edit one file because it affects another one. But this guy is purely independent, but there were so many, so many other dependencies, I didn't find it worth changing. But I did use this later, because this is the same sprites that are used in the intro when you select the boy and the girl and you hover over the guy and he's running. That's these. So, um, that's what I did anyway. So, what else do we have? Because I can show you why I didn't really mess with the intro. Okay, there he is. That's the wrong palette. There we go. That's the city <laughs> behind him. Even though that's not the sprite. It's the running guy before who's in front of the city. But this one is related to the city. So if you are more dedicated and artsy than I am with ROM editing, you can change the city here. But good luck. <laughs> the intro is... You know, it's skippable, so I really didn't try to work with it myself, but that's the whole part of it, is just that it's so wrapped up. I think there's a later one. I come here. One of these is him, but yeah, it's just a hand, but then there's also trees. <laughs> so you will want to consider these when making your character, when trying to edit them, but I can't really show how to piece them together because I just couldn't be bothered just with the intro. But I wanted to really show you in case you want to know where they were. Okay, so that's the opening. Next, we have the logo, which is just the one file that's going to be in the title demo here. 
unpack. I think he was 11 pallet and 12. I can't remember things. Awesome. Okay, so that's it. The red is the transparent part of the background. So if you want to give your, your uh, ROM edit a name, just change this picture. And when you sit where you hit start to start the game, this is what will show up. And that's a whole part of it there. Okay. And now, no, 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 no. We have the intro where you're picking your name, your, your character, and all that. And that's again in the demo folder. But now we're going under intro here. Unpack. Now the only thing aside from the text that I edited was the rival sprite and my sprite. So I am number nine, I believe. So one of these palettes is this. Oh. Oh. No, no, it should be the one below it. Okay. So he will have four frames. Like, as I said before, this is the same one that's running in the intro. But this is where I change them. So right there. So when you have your cursor selecting boy or girl, you'll see him running. It's a lot of editing, but honestly, it's a nice touch, I thought. So it works out pretty good. And I think this should be the girl right below. And right below that, 19 should be the rival? Nah, it's Rowan. Okay, so the one below that then is, ah, there he is, the rival there as well. And that's really it for sprites in the intro. Uh, you want to go back to the text editing one to change what he's saying and stuff. But yeah, yeah, those, that's where you can find and change the sprites there. Okay. And from there, the last thing will be the ending, the credits. Now, where is that? I think that's graphic. And this one, ending. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so the only thing that I changed, and probably the really only I really want to change, is the character on the bicycle. And they also have screenshots that come up with the game that just kind of give you like a memory kind of thing and you can change those as well but first I'll show you the bike guy and the bike guy oh let's see again I may jump forward where is the bike guy There's a seagull. And these. If you are interested in changing these, more power to you. But I think you gotta keep those the same. Uh, these are the backgrounds that come up while you're biking. But when are you biking? It's not that one. Pretty sure I tried 27, 28. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's black and white, but he's looking better. 31. There we go. So the male character is 28. And is the female 29? Oh, no, that's a R, an RECM, which I think gives you a preview. So if you were to scroll this, yeah. So this is good. Remember this, actually. Um, so 29, well, if you scroll this, we'll show you the animation. So you can just test it after you do your edits. Because he's really not moving that much. So, and somehow that's harder, I guess, than if you're doing big frame adjustments, like the running character. Because it's, it's really hard to get that, that slight movement looking good. But if you use this as a base, I think it'll be okay. But, okay, so that means the female character would be 34. Yeah, wait. <laughs> what did I do to him? <laughs> 33. Yep, there she is. Okay, and that'll work there. And then all you've really got are the batches of the images, which it should be that there are these palettes corresponding up to these. So 48 goes to 38, or, oh wait, 38, if I can click right, there you go. 30, 49 goes to 39, and so on. So all you want to do is export these and, um, and uh, put in the screenshot that you want and put it in there. And to save time, if you're using Desmune like I am, you can file, open ROM, we'll do 
my stream copy. Disregard all that. That's just in case I'm using the linked version, which doesn't work, sadly. So I'm just kind of stuck with all this garbly gook. But okay. To get the correct pixel dimensions, all you need to do is leave it in window mode 1x. And that's it. It's pixel by pixel. Then you go into file, save screenshot as on the desktop. And just save it like that. And it should pop up over here. And there you go. So then it's as simple as exporting the image. Again, putting it on the desktop. Putting it in a sprite. Like so and like so. And like so. And then, okay, I'm going to do a new layer, but then I want that to be the upper layer. Yeah. And then this, let me use the magic tool. Just kind of take that out, but then I will inverse the select and murder that piece. Come over here. I can copy this one. Or no, control A, then copy. There we go. And then come to the bottom layer and paste. And you can see it's already framed the correct way. So that way, when you import whatever you've taken a screenshot of, it will appear properly in the game. And save it, put it back into the ROM. Oh, 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 right. I forgot that I planned on showing this as the only real, uh, like, how to edit portion of this video. Because I mentioned before that generally you can only have 16 colors in an image in the ROM. These are an exception. These are uh, up to 256 colors. So you don't have to worry about what you uh, about what you get a screenshot of. You should be free to take whatever you want and uh, just have fun with it from there. And then you can just do the usual do 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 do. Oh, get rid of the select. I think I need to do. Here we go. Take this. Create palette from current sprite. 256. No alpha component. Boom. And it doesn't use that many. And I don't think you have to have a full one. Like when working with some other sprites, you should be okay. And um, yeah, yeah, that's that's it. So, hmm. I think those are the main pieces. If there are any other pieces you want to know where they are, I will see if I know. So leave me a comment and I'll see if I can give you a location for it. All right, and as always, you guys have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.